Mr. Mopar back again on today's episode of FML, our Nissan Xterra rear wiper motor. Decided to uh, stop working and left the wiper in the center of the glass. So I'm going to show you guys how to change the wiper motor and what you need to do so. so first things first, this cap's got to come off. There's a little tab underneath the back here, here. Pop those out and that cap comes off. There's a nut under there on the Xterra. The wiper motor is actually behind the interior trim panel. So that has to come off. In order to get that off, you've got a cap on your handle here and here with some screws behind that. And you've got another screw here and that should pop off. So I'm gonna work those off and I'll show you when I get done. So if you're wondering, these caps on the end of your interior handle, they just pop off that way. And those inside there are a 10 millimeter and you are gonna need a thin walled socket. As you can see, that's a 10 and it's stuck in there because it's so tight. And just because it would make too much sense to make everything the same size, these ones over here are 9 30 seconds. So I've got all my bolts out. Um, now we've got to take the plastic off. This is a door panel tool. It's kind of like a pair of pliers, but it works great. If you do a lot of your own work, like myself, you can get behind pieces like this and the door panel, just pop it off. A lot of times it will save your tabs that like to break otherwise. Just another little suggestion, a little tip for you. I'm gonna finish removing that and then we will proceed. This cap on the back, I know some people are gonna be asking and wondering, so I'm gonna show you. You're best off to do this on a warm day, just because these can be very brittle if it's cold out. Uh, the easiest way to get them off is really just to get something skinny in there. You can pop that off and it will come off. You can see those two tabs in the top there go into these holes and that's really all that holds it other than these little tabs in the bottom here. There's your nut. That doesn't look very good, so hopefully it's going to come off without snapping. I am going to lube that up first. And once you've got your panel off on the inside, your wiper motor is right there. It's really simple to get to. One, two, three bolts. Unplug your pigtail. Get your wire out of the way. You do have to remove, like I said, from the outside. Bear with me here on my poor camera work today. And once you get that off, this will pop out. Actually may have another nut in there behind it once I look, but we'll get there. And you can slide the new one in, hook it up. Good to go. That was a 10 millimeter. Um, I know some of you guys are going to be wondering if you've never done this. I took the 10 milliliter meter off there and the wiper arm did not want to come off. That's not surprising. It's most likely been there for a while. And if you look closely, if this will focus, let's try to focus anyway, there's splines on this and the wiper arm actually fits over those. So the easiest way to really get it off is to pull on your wiper arm and just tap on the bolt with a hammer and that really just kind of frees it up. Be careful, obviously, you don't want to break your glass. So now that I've got the wiper arm off, we go back to the window motor inside. Here's your one, two, three, those are 10 millimeter. And then the motor will come off and we'll put the new one back on. So there's my old motor. Here's my new one. Um, I did buy a used one off eBay with a, a decent warranty. For, I think it was $65 shipped versus buying a new one for twice as much money that may come back to haunt me in a few months but we'll see so the new one actually came with a new rubber grommet but I don't need to replace the rubber grommet mine is nice and it's just fine up there I'm going to attempt to show you guys this this is poor camera work bear with me because uh, yeah, so here we go. Anyway, you just gotta push the new one up in there. 
get it lined up with your holes. Grab one of your tens. Just get it started to hold it. Don't cross thread it, obviously. If you do, you're not going to be happy later. I assure you of that. started not gonna over tighten them just snug them up plug your pigtail back in I suppose I could put that back in there but it's really not necessary I do not need to do so now I'm gonna put my wiper arm back on back on and then we'll put the panel back on the inside so I've got my wiper arm back on I got my 10 millimeter on not over torqued of course try to do this one-handed get your cap back on everything's hooked up in here everything's tight looks good I'm gonna put the panel back on I'm gonna pause it while I do that Got my panel back on. I've got my two 9 30 second screws back in, my two 10 mils back in, my handle back on. And we are done. So, just to recap, this is a 2008 Nissan Xterra. The rear wiper went to replace it. You need a small flathead, pry your cap off. You got a 10 millimeter behind your cap here. If the wiper arm does not want to come off, you can pull on it, tap gently on the end of the nut there. That will pop that off. For the interior panel, on the handle, right on the end of it, small flathead. Pry these off. It's a 10 millimeter on each side. A 9 30 seconds up inside here. Pop the panel off. Three 10 millimeter bolts in the wiper motor itself. Pull those, put the new one on. Put everything back together and you're golden now whoop, i need my key with any luck we will have a working rear wiper again honestly if i'm not filming this whole job should not take more than oh 10 minutes or so with the right tools there we go all fixed let me know if this helped anybody out any questions what to do how to do it feel free to drop a comment and I'll help you out as much as I can